guys. Okay. Today I'm going to show you all how to navigate through Amazon Relay. Now when you just start off and your carrier sends you a uh, the link to download the app, that will automatically tie you in through that carrier. Now after you've done so, you want to set up your vehicles. So you'll click right here under your or there's a tab right up top here the three hash marks you'll click that you'll go to your vehicle when you do that you go to add tractor you'll enter your license plate number the state that your license plate is in vehicle type is tractor and you can nickname it also now me if I'm not running a truck I normally delete them out of the out of the system so that way there's only one or two in there at any given time so that's why I show two trucks in there at the moment. Now that's how you set it up. Now, when your carrier issues you a load, you'll go under trips. Okay, this is my trip that I'm currently on. It's January 21st to January 23rd. And when you're doing this, you can view all of your stops. See, mine started in Opelika, then Davenport, Jacksonville, Jacksonville. You see there's a break in between here. That's where you do your 10-hour break. Going to MIA5, MIA1, Sunrise, Sunrise. There's delivering, picking up an empty, going back to MIA1. All right. <clears throat> now, if you click on each of the tabs, it'll show you whether it's a empty or if it's a, lo a live load or if you're picking up a trailer. Now I'm not gonna click on that right now because I still can't figure out how to black out the, the, the tour ID numbers, but you'll get that at the top left hand of your corner. I'll scroll up to you can just start seeing it right there, the trip ID, it's a T number. So if you call in, you'll be giving that number or your load ID number which will be attached to each individual load. And if you click on each of the stops, it'll show you for your time in, time to part, everything. Now, if you're running late, you click this question mark, hit report delay. You wanna do this if you have any indication you might be late. Anyway, it'll have your load ID number up there, the reason you'll be late, when you'll be moving again and on the load notes you want to type in there either that you'll be late the, the reason you'll be late whether it be traffic weather um being held up by amazon anything just to save your own butt so it doesn't count against you and your carrier score now also to see your more trips you want to click on up here where it shows the dates You'll click that and it shows your next run. Like me, I got myself scheduled on another two day starting on the 24th. Okay. Oh, let's get back into there. X out of that. If you want to see your previous trips, you can go under history and it shows all of your previous loads for a span, I believe, of two weeks. And you can just view those, check your load numbers. That way you make sure you get paid for everything. All right, support center. If you have a problem, you have to call in. Call support right there, right under where it says still need help. And that is the phone number you'll give them a call. Now. Amazon does like feedback, so if you click the tab down here that says give feedback, they will, uh, they actually will respond back to you again, like within a couple of days thanking you for uh, giving feedback. Now that's on any location, any trips. If they don't give you enough time to run the trips, uh, say if they're scheduling you for during rush hour traffic, all these things they want to know about that way they can try and make everything streamline and everything goes a lot easier all right location there you go when does relay track my location and 
just little things, little tidbits of information if you have any questions that you might be able to just find an answer. Account settings. I'm not going under that that because so you can't see all of the trucks and everything else and everybody under our account. Uh, trips. If you have any question about trips, right there. Now, let me go into the load right now that I'm currently on. I can show you. I'm going to hit resume work. Right here, this is uh, the trailer I'm picking up and everything. It's in Doctor 172. It's not currently ready yet. But right here where it says Doctor, it shows you where the tra uh, trailer is at that you're picking up. 53-foot skirted trailer, that is the trailer number. Okay. Now, when you first get here, it'll uh, you'll have a arrival. You'll swipe at the bottom once you uh, once you arrive. At the beginning, it'll actually say begin work. Click that. You'll click on your license plate for the truck you're using, and that you're not bringing an empty trailer in. As long as you're not bringing an empty trailer in, and click that. Now, here I'll actually show you an example of this. See, well, it won't let me uh, click it, but up top it'll it'll say begin work. Let's go back down here. Oh, wrong trip again. There we go. But when you get to the stops, you're gonna swipe right. It'll bring up a barcode. Make sure you do not swipe away from that barcode before the guard shack scans it. That way. Because that initial barcode shows both your delivery and your pickup, if there is a uh, if it's a delivery and a pickup. Now, say you uh, say you come in here and you accidentally swiped and you need your barcode again. Right up here in the top right corner, next to the question mark, you can click that and it'll bring up a barcode that the guard shack can scan again just in case anybody accidentally swipes over again. Now I'm going to be remaking this video once I can figure out how I can actually black out some of the uh, the load IDs and I'll go through and do a start to finish on a load. But this is just a little uh, so a little update in case anybody has any questions or if they if they're having trouble figuring out how to use their relay. But other than that, y'all have a wonderful day. Keep the rubber side down. And like I said, I'm going to be remaking this video once I get different editing software. So, yep, y'all have a wonderful day.